When you receive your RGX gateway, it's very easy to set up your network and get connected to the cloud. For this demonstration, I already have a lens network established from my Radius to my Ventus Pro. What I'm lacking is connectivity to the cloud. Let's take a look at what we get inside the box. Product documentation. The charging cable assembly. And the RGX. The RGX has a protective film on the front cover. It warns me to remove this before the first use. Also, tells me to activate the new equipment on iNet, read the manual, and remove this film. By pressing and holding the button for three to five seconds, we start the power on sequence. As it's starting up, the green light is flashing. This indicates that there's no connectivity. It's that easy to get up and running with this. The default setting for the group mode of operation for my lens network is on channel A. I've ensured that my lens network is already on the same channel, so the device should just immediately connect and change the status of my lens network and update my system. I can go into the iNet software and make any changes I need to the configuration of the RGX gateway. I can also change the encryption settings there as well. Now the devices will automatically begin communicating and then I can see the information on my iNet software. I can receive text messages, emails, on-screen alerts. Any gas detector readings that are picked up from my devices will be transmitted to my iNet account. Now the nice thing about the flexibility of this is that it can be permanently installed or it can simply be placed in a location for use. It has up to 168 hours on the battery charge when it's fully charged, so it can be placed for a project for up to a week somewhere and provide connectivity and visibility for your workers. It can communicate via wireless, ethernet, or cellular service. Once it's connected, the device will go to a solid green LED, and at that point, it will begin pinging the other units in the lens network. The number of peers in my network should have increased. The cloud indication should be a solid color now, and if I go to my lens peer screen, I'll see that device with the indication that it's the gateway. I now have connectivity to the cloud, and I can begin watching my workers, ensuring that they're protected.